Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the Veve Prophecy Cards and the 16 Kauri. I am Amiola Funke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, April 27th through Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. Let's get started. The universal energy reading for the planet this week sees eight Kauri on the mat and Shango as Shu in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here, Earth Mother is not moving. She's inert. She's to be perpetual and to live on. That is her plan. But she's at a standstill. I believe it's because people make the world go round. And it's our intentions. It's our love. It's our care earth mother that lets her know that everything's okay uh, we need to put dancing feet on the ground so that earth mother can hear us hear our prayers hear that we still need her we still love her and we are thankful for everything she provides Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees nine Kauri on the mat and Aizan tambours in the Veve prophecy cards. This means silence is consent. Sticking around is consent. Where you find your partner abusive and aggressive. You need to pray into your ancestors for help with the situation. If you know you're with somebody and they're not treating you well, now is a good time to start standing back and getting away from that person. This is a time when people will be aggressive and they will hurt you and try to give you a gift. They will hurt you and try to act like everything's okay. And it's not. Abuse comes in many forms. Women get abused. Men get abused. Children, old people. So we have to be better to each other. Anyone who can get away from uh, this kind of behavior this week, it'd be a good time. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees eight Kauri on the mat and Obatala Azaka in the Veve prophecy cards. Here, love, there's a deferment. We have to wait for love. If we do not have love, or if the love we have is not good, even if we've been waiting a while, now is the time to wait. It's not a time to rush out and grab on to someone who says, hi, I like you. No, that's not going to really get it. What do you bring? Eight calories says you have a plan, something you're working on, something you've been working on for a while, hard work. And you want to know, does this person fit into that plan? Is this person going to support my ideas, dreams, goals, and visions? Is this person comfortable with me as I am? And the same goes for me. Am I comfortable with this person? Am I going to fit into what they're doing? You know, maybe they like to travel. But me, I like to sit in front of a computer. So travel is not really going to cut it. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees a carry on the mat and Yemoja Ling Lasu in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we have an opposition to money, even though... We know success and we see success and money is good, but there's an opposing force to the flow of money at this time. And we all know what the opposing force is. It's that we can't get out and just buy freely. If we want to buy freely, we have to buy online and not everyone is ready to do that or trusts or understands how to do that. And two, if you buy online, sometimes your, your merchandise can come, you know, in a way which you're not happy with and you want to send it back. And it's too much stuff coming through the mail with the viral situation on the horizon. So we don't want to be sending packages back and forth to the mail. Okay. So there's an opposition to the flow of money. It's hard to stand on the front line and sell merchandise. And it's hard to send merchandise through a second or third party. We have to be patient. We have to continue to work on our plans and make sure that when the time turns around in our favor, where we can get out and freely walk among people and sell our goods to people, that we'll be ready with our product or service. Ashe. 
The universal energy reading for health and well-being sees Nine Carry on the mat and Ling Le Su as Shu in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here, there's a lot of confusion around health. There's a lot of confusion around well-being. We may feel that people are working negative magic against us, but this is not always the case. I mean, a lot of times people will be upset and will naysay and wish and slander people behind their back, but it's not going to be a lot of times in this time where people are working negative magic against you. Again, we have to be careful of gifts we receive, especially things coming through the mail because they could carry sickness. So we don't want, we don't want that. Ashe. The universal energy reading for spiritual development sees 11 Kauri on the mat and Ling Lesu Obatala in the Veve Prophecy cards. Spiritual development will see a lot of arguments. People will be arguing about means and methods and ways. Uh, people will be arguing about uh, people getting ceremonies that they really wish they could get. But it's if it's not your time, please don't worry about it. So, in spiritual development, if your head is nervous, if you're upset, if you're annoyed, cool your head with coconut water. Cool yourself, calm yourself, and apply some shea butter to your head and wrap your head in a white covering, light blue, yellow, light green, light colors, pink even, so that you can calm down and maybe come to an understanding of why people do things the way they do. Ashe. This has been Mami Olafunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. I say stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. If you like this information and find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Have a great week. Everyone, Odabo. Oh,